So as y'all already heard by now and seen the title of this video, I will be changing up everything in this closet. Now, excuse my house because it is a mess. I am doing a lot of transitions, a lot of DIYs, a lot of, a whole lot of everything at one time. So if you see like these stuff on the floor, I had just gifted like so much of the girls baby stuff to they daycare. Um, I just gave a bunch of that stuff away. I had to go through stuff very quickly because time was cramped. But like this whole room was filled up with like giant like jumpers and stuff like this. Like that is my tripod. But those big kitty kitty stuff, I just been hanging on to so dearly. But as you can see, this is actually, this closet is in our master. That's kind of actually converted to the girls playroom. And now they're in their own rooms and not even in here, but they, this is still their playroom. But I have decided that I wanted to actually put our desks in here because I just feel like I don't work as productively out in the open. I just found that when I used to actually have my own space, tucked away, hibernating, quiet, zenful, I actually did more work. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to move all these clothes. This is clothes that I don't wear very often. So I decided that I'm gonna move this and actually transfer up here. So as you can see, the girls have a bunch of clothes just sitting all over the place that I actually have to go through because I am gonna be gifting or giving away a bunch of these clothes and a lot of these clothes are too small and because they're hanging up we don't use them often and we tend to forget about them so we have plenty of space in this big huge closet and the goal is to essentially get everything to be in drawers and cubbies what I'm about to do now is essentially just push everything back this way and then start taking this stuff and putting it right here so let's do that Alright, after much back and forth, I'm hoping that this works. Like these types of, I can't get it focused. But if you look at these holes right here, this shape of this thing right here is like a square shape and it's not that hexagon shape. So I want to go see if I have these drill bits and I'm over here doing this like I actually already see that this fits. So this actually fits in there. So I'm gonna put this in the drill thing and try to take it out. All right, so I officially did that and took all the holes out. And it's not a lot of damage. I don't, it's not even really any damage. Like these are easy to patch up if you wanted to patch it up. I don't have anything right now to change it out of. I kind of want a rat. So I'm just gonna get ready to paint the walls. I'm gonna grab our ladder and 
get ready to start the process. David is not gonna be the happiest person, but at the same time, he has to live with it. I'm about to do this thing, and we're just gonna hope my husband won't be too mad, hence the reason why I'm doing this before he gets home. No one cares, child. I ain't never scared. I say that now. <laughs> Let me show you the color. Now I know and I understand that I got a cheap paint from Walmart, but listen here, we just gonna work this thing out. I'm okay with that, I think. This is the color. This is kind of what that color looks like. Um, it's gonna be like a green, blue, foresty, gray, I don't know. But I got it in flat because I like what flat looks like. So yeah, let's open it up. I'm having my thoughts sleeping with the enemy. Oh, it is so pretty! Look at that, y'all. Oh, I love it. Oh. Okay, so listen. It's drying. It looks great. I love the color. Maybe it could even went a little lighter. I don't know. No, I love the color. And it looks like I'm gonna have plenty of paints. I'm about to be super ghetto. And I know y'all see that light out there. I do need the light because it's really dark. Or maybe I can use my ring light. Just, just maybe. I don't know. But I'm about to paint really closely to light bulb. But I don't want it to get painted on. So this is like a, a hair wash wrap thingy. I'm about to use that to wrap the light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> Told you, Mrs. Fix It. That's what it looks like up there. And it's gonna work. So, <laughs> remember, y'all, I'm trying to have this done and painted before David gets home. Not completely, because I'm probably gonna have to put a second layer, but once it's done, I'll be alright. Y'all, David came home and scared the crap out of me, so. He came home and seen the paint. David's pants. Just, just so y'all know. But Jesus, he didn't really see what the paint looked like with the lights on. I think he don't like it, but I didn't think he would like it. So I don't really feel too much about it. About it. At least I'm just glad he lies in the room again. Or the area. I feel like if I'm. I just, it seems dark, but I guess that's what you're going for. I want a little bit of both. Look out. I want warm and cozy, would make me want to be there. Mm -hmm. If I don't like it, I can change it. It's pain. Yeah, it's just pain. It's just pain. Are you rehearsing yourself? Yeah, I'm telling myself. <laughs> it's pain. I think he's okay, but then he's not okay, but he's okay. I think he's mostly fine. Mm -hmm. He'll be all right, so let's get back to it. Today's the next day and the bonnet is back. Let me give you guys a little bit of update, a little bit of the shenanigans, a little bit of the stuff that I could not show you. I gotta fix it. Let me give you guys the most ghetto update ever. First of all, let me give you an overview. So, this is what the room is looking like. Um, it looks good. <laughs> And I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because there's been a whole lot of hoopla going on and a lot of ghetto fixes, a lot of 
mm, I'm not gonna touch it anymore, but if I bring you up close, I shouldn't be behind these lights. If I bring you up close, you will see that the whole baseboard painting situation isn't great. I really should have took off the baseboards and paint it and then put the baseboards back on, but mm, I didn't. But this is just gonna be my little area, so I'm not gonna stress it. But um, if it allows me to focus, from a distance, you can't tell that anything is going on with the baseboards. It looks great. You know, this is how, you know, social media does. It just looks great. But if I go up close, you see it's not it's not great i have used <laughs> all kind of tools to get this looking as decent as possible I accidentally got some paint so i'm gonna use some bleach to get that up if you ever um uh, get paint on your floors and it won't scrub up this there's, there's paint remover so you can just use it to get it up but you can see like it's kind of discolored here um, I accidentally got paint, white paint on the wall and there's just a whole lot of back and forth. I might fix, I might attempt to touch up the spot again, but I'm kind of like over it. But let me tell you what I've been doing. So I didn't really want to buy white paint to fix the wall paint that got on the baseboards. But so I decided to get... <laughs> Um, some white paint. This is flat paint. This is the Rust-Oleum American Accent Two Times Ultra Coverage Paint and Primer uh, Flat White Paint, Spray Paint. Everyone in the videos that I've been using have been using paint paint with a paintbrush and I just know, okay I'm back. I know I'm personally not great at uh, painting. Like I can do a spray paint thing because it's like the spray sprayer. But painting, well, I can't say I'm not 100% great because I did hand paint Noelle's room while I was nine months pregnant. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Was it? No, I think it was Nala. It was actually Nala. But anyway, um, I did that. But I didn't want to do this. Not for this little thing. So, bye idea light bulb was and by no means is this a tutorial do not follow me because first of all this is ratchet to schedule and i do not know what i'm doing okay i just have determination and ideas that's all i have okay but anyway i went to walmart last night and got this paint shield it is basically like those bubble removers but it has like a little metal section here and my idea when i saw this i actually got the other one like the paint scraper thing and then i ran into this and my idea was to use this to let me turn around the camera um put this on the edge here and then use the spray paint to spray as I'm shielding here to get a more clean cut. This is not perfect. This is not great. The problem was that is sometimes I forgot to wipe the nozzle after some time. And then I would get these little texture pieces. Um, so this is like texture right there. And then sometimes if you don't do it great, it gets on the wall. And then there's a bunch of back and forth. That's why I kind of this is patchy, but this is also not completely dry either. So then I would use <laughs> a makeup eyeshadow brush to get the precision of cutting some of the paint a little bit more. <laughs> That's what I've been using. I told myself I wasn't going to touch it no more, but I'm here touching it. I'm going to touch it. Okay, anyway, so I was literally taking this. <laughs> Sorry if it's out of focus. And this was what I was literally doing. So the parts that I didn't do good, I was like literally cutting it <laughs> like this. I can get this by here to get a little bit closer. And then um, just in case, if you might not believe me, <laughs> I use like a bleach cleaner, like a Clorox bleach cleaner and for the most part it comes up it's been here for like 20 minutes at least um and like i said if it ever doesn't come up 
um, you can use paint remover for your floors. Of course, if you got carpet, you don't want to do this at all. Why well, don't sound like I'll give you a tutorial? Listen, this is not a tutorial. This is not that, okay? I'm just kind of giving you some warning. This was the lazy girl method, okay? It's so weird because I'm lazy but not lazy. I'm lazy up until determination. Then determination happens. It's like no stopping me. Anyway. <laughs> Yo, it's going to kill me. Anywho. I need to... Create an outlet in this closet. I absolutely love this color, by the way. Let me know down in the comment section if you like this color. I need to add an outlet here. Now, uh, I was doing some YouTube research because YouTube makes me feel like I can do anything. You can basically create an outlet behind a light switch. So, my plan is to put an outlet here so that I can plug in the computer here instead of adding an extension cord in there. So I went to the store and got a handful of things that I seen this person told me to get off of YouTube. So I gotta get a wire um, stripper that I believe I seen in the garage. So let's get that. I believe I got some. Now the crazy part is I'm not even positive if this is wire strippers. It just kind of looked like it. Yeah. Because it says never use on live circuit. So, yeah, I believe this is strippers. Hey, can you, are you able to turn off the bathroom light circuits? Are the light switches in the off position? No, I didn't turn off. So, while he's doing that, cut the hole. I was going to use a knife, but I just remembered that I actually have a miter saw. Yes, we do. <sighs> have tools, people. So, we got a kit from one of them holidays and Home Depot. Home Depot. And we're gonna use this. And it's got a blade. Oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. I see, but wouldn't that, I'm scared of this one. Hmm? That one is the better one, but I'm like, I don't wanna go too deep. I don't wanna go as deep as you make it. Okay, so this kit had, um, I can't even tell you. Do you remember what the name of the kit is or what's the brand? Ryobi. Ryobi. And Ryobi has like a kit with all these, like it has the staple gun, the miter saw, the circular saw, the all kind of stuff. It was only like a hundred and something. 200. 200 worth every penny. We are getting that to cut a hole in drywall and everything goes fine. I should have an outlet. Yeah, I messed up my mom. I messed up. So David punched out the hole, which I need the whole thing in the what outlet part. But using this thing, the, the saw cutter to cut the hole out of the wall. And I used the app to find the stud and the app was totally wrong. I thought it was wrong, but I trusted it and it was wrong. So. I, I got a big hole in my wall. <laughs> Any hoosie, this is what it's looking like. So, I cut the hole out of the wall, and this is where I was originally measured my trace to cut out of, and once I got here, that's when I noticed that there was actually a stud there. Then I had to improvise, <laughs> and accidentally, uh, because it's hard to use this thing, and it was like knocking me back and accidentally went a little bit too low right there. But it would have been a decent cut hole, but now I'm like just trying to cut little by little just to make sure I don't do too much more. Now I'm hoping that the cover actually covers most of this and, it, and then I can probably do a little bit of patching 
and then sanding and then repainting if necessary. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know. But the studs are really narrow here. <laughs> Let's hope that this even works. <laughs> But I had a feeling there was stud because it just makes sense. Like, this is a corner section of the wall. It just makes sense. But what do I know, you know? So the hole is here, but I have to, like, make it slightly bigger. Uh, just because uh, I have to <laughs> in order to fit this in properly. I don't know if they're screwing this in, but, like, what do I have to screw this into? Like, really? I might end up cutting a little bit more I don't know whether on the top on the bottom so I have to come back for this part because I don't feel like I'm gonna tripod this low to the floor uh, if you can't tell seriously low to the floor so yeah all right so it's been a little while I decided that I didn't want to show you guys the update oh the aperture is really high okay I decided that I didn't want to show you guys me doing the whole electrical part because for one, I don't want no one following me. I'd rather you watch a professional. I can link the person's video down below uh, who I am going back off of. I'm just going off hoping a prayer child, but this is what it's looking like. I did all the wiring for this so far. And looking in here, it's going to be quite dark because there's no light in here. And then this is what the outlet is looking like. Now, I'm not sure if I tightened these wires well, which is the reason why I didn't put the face on yet. So basically, I just want to make sure that it works first before I really start tightening stuff down. So let's do the moment of truth. About to go to the little breaker thing. Cut on the lights and see if it works. Well, obviously, I got to plug something into it, so let's go. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Noel. Noel. Noel, can you say hi? Noel. She don't care. And then, as you know, David. So we're about to flip the breaker back, plug something into it, and see if it works. You need me to go do that? Because it's like behind stuff. Yeah. Uh, sure. No, Ellie. Can you say hi? Say hello. You say hello? Hi. Yeah. Can I get a high five? Yeah. No, what? Can I get a high five? High five? All right. All right. So clearly the light in the room is back on. So I'm so anxious and nervous because this is a big deal. So it should work. I don't know if it should work whether the light switch is on or not, but I'm gonna unplug this ring light. And the hope is once I plug it into here, the ring light comes on. This ring light kind of janky too, so I wouldn't be surprised if it don't come up straight on the first time. All right, one, two, three. Should I look at me? I can't even get it in the hole. Ah, it works. Wait, so the light has to be on in order for it to work? That's whack. That's whack. So it's on and it works, but the light switch has to be on. Unless, if I... Switch the black wire. Yeah. I think I'm gonna switch the black wire and see if it's still the same case because I want it to work whether it's on or not. Hmm. Let me check. So, great thing. It works. So I feel accomplished. I'm not sure about is that it's only working when the light's on. Have you ever been Apple Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so I fixed it. David turned it back on. And now let's see if it works. I'm gonna be mad if it don't work at all. That'd be crazy. Wait, I don't even have the light thing. 
Oh, I'm so wet for that. Hold on. <laughs> it works. You can see the light is on. I mean, off. And then the light didn't cut off. <laughs> I bought the building. I'm so proud of myself. I know they like me. I'm so icy. It works. Constantly. Did I mess up the wall? Yes. Now you gotta learn to do your first drywall. Yes. But did I just become an electrician? Yes. I got a whole outlet in my closet now. You can't tell me nothing now. About time if we ever sell this house. They they might still appreciate there's an outlet in the closet. They might hate that it looks so ugly, but they can fix it. As long as we ain't break no electrical code or nothing, you know, we good. Who cares? <laughs> it won't be our problem. Anyway, so time to fix this. Uh, did I tell y'all I messed up the wall? I believe I did, but I totally messed that up. So. Anyway, let's go ahead and put these things back together, clean up this dust, and put up that shelf back. So proud. So this is as much as I was able to cover. Again, the stud finder lied to me and said that there was no stud right here. So I was intending on putting it more over, but I had to push it to the side. So I'm gonna have to add something. Uh, but honestly, I'm not really pressed about it, but I'm still so proud of myself. And this is what it's looking like. I'm so happy with it. I definitely am going to make some changes to it, but overall it is a nice zen space. This has got enough space to put a photo here and uh, just really decorate how I want to, to put all my equipment. Everything could be super close, but I do really like it. As you can see, you can actually cut, close the doors if I wanted to. Sorry about that, but yeah, my actual camera just cut off. So I am filming the iPhone, but yeah, I am definitely happy with the outcome. As you can see, it is cute. Just for kicks and giggles, you can kind of see that I can fit my equipment in here and probably some equipment up there. Let's show David. <laughs> you answer. Let me see a little light. 1020, big clock. That'll look nice. You trying to keep all this space on this side? It's a little off center. It's, I want to be a little off because it's probably where I'm going to put equipment. Look. You look busy. <laughs> How do you feel? Feel like I'm in like a studio or something like that. That's like a little studio. <laughs> yeah, I need some speakers in here. So I know. In my echo. Let's see. <laughs> little privacy. <laughs> you sound like you're in one of those nasty rooms. <laughs> How does it feel inside of there? Like a little small office. A small office, but is it comfortable or is it claustrophobic? It's not claustrophobic. It's like... It feels colder and it seems like it felt hot before. And now it don't feel hot. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah, that is all for this little video segment because you know I just want to show y'all the shenanigans. Definitely love you guys and see you guys in the next video. Bye.